1995, and little did five teenage boys know they were about to become the Backdoor Boys. Four years later, their hit single, Take a Tip, rocketed them to stardom, and they were flying without wings. The public lapped it up with six successful albums, 15 number one hits, and many sellout tours. But before they knew it, 18 hour days took their toll on the boys. By 2003, Chris decided it was time to step away from the band. After two years without Chris, on the 11th of November 2005, the band crumbled, leaving a hole in the pop world. Everyone was taken aback. Helplines had to be set up to support the grieving fans. Successes and ups and downs. Started with my dishcloth business, but uh, that was a washout. So, got into the caravans. Sold them now. But I miss the glory days. They were the best days of my life. Of course, I've met Viv now, ain't I? Vivian, please. We've got company, darling. <laughs> You gonna ask me another question? Or? So that's a really good question you've just asked. Um, why do it? Why do I still continue? Um, I do it for the love of the music. It has been tough. Uh, I do it mainly for the fans. Um, I feel I contributed massively towards the group. Um, I had much less, uh, much less exposure than others, um, and I feel as well I was probably a bit, um, a bit too young at the time. Yeah. Um, some of the other members got more recognition than than I. Uh, this is Phil. Yeah. If you could sum up each member of the band in one word, how would you do that? What are their names? Anthony. Um, Dog wanker. Who are the others? Justin. Justin. He's nae class, nae talent, nae fucking star power, nae charisma. The thing about McDonald's is, it's the same everywhere you go. Because you know what uh, Big Mac is in French? Le Big Mac, I think. If, if I came back, then I'd be a smash hit again. I always was able to, to rise above the petty nonsense. Oh, oh, why is he singing on this? Aye. No, it'd be good. It would be good to do. I'd never do it, but it'd be good to do just to see their faces when I walk in there. Fucking uh, bigger than Godzilla. There isn't a pie that hasn't been fingered by me, and that's through effort. Do you know what I mean? That is commitment. None of them had commitment. Speak. None of no. None of them had the commitment that I did. None of them had the vision or the drive to take us somewhere that wasn't just uh, soppy smash hits magazine. After splitting from the band, Anthony Mallet decided to open his own dog salon and has been living la vida loca ever since. Speaking to Anthony Mallet, how can I help? Yeah, no, that's, yes, let me just have a look darling. Oh sweetie, yeah, I can get you next Wednesday at two hours, that sound. Fabulous, thank you ever so much. Yeah, no, no, yeah, it's all the con, there's no urine in it whatsoever, yeah. All right, thank you love, -y. bye. Well, obviously, you know, I adopted Princess Belike. Didn't she look fabulous? Um, we have many outfits for her. Um, and then I, I'd always wanted to be a vet, so I was never really um, that bothered about um, being in in the band. It was just to get me some money to get through veterinary school. Yeah, I may have been a jerk girl, but I'ma let you finish, yeah. While I'm sipping on my tea, cause I'm so freaking British, yeah. Kev's been really busy. Been traveling, he's been writing his memoirs. Uh, uh, hey, can we tell him about the, uh, the really successful pharmaceutical import business? Anyway, a uh, lot of travelling, a yeah, lot of memoirs. You mention Cuba one more time and I'll chop off your bollocks. Give me back my f***ing cornflakes, you prick. Blake had always felt something was missing from his life. Having now had gender reassignment surgery, Blake can now enjoy life to the full. Obviously, uh, 
a lot has changed since I was in the Backdoor Boys. Um, but life hasn't been easy. Obviously with the transition and everything. It has been really hard. I'm sorry. And I just... Oh, fuck, fuck off! So, I'm doing Panto now. Playing the Dane was the next logical step. <laughs> and do you miss it? No. Oh, the band! <laughs> so, uh, sometimes I do miss him. It. I do miss the band. But not often, no. I said to him, why don't you get the band back together and I could be the stylist. I did Air and Beauty at college, you know. <laughs> I know it was a long time ago, but <laughs> I keep me hand in, don't I, Dale? Oh, you do. Got to get the band back together. Well, uh, I've got the venue, got the gear, got the Viagra. Yeah, because those boys are getting a bit older, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just need to get the band. Yeah, I'm going to get them back. I'm going to get them back for good. So, uh, I'm currently playing uh, Widow Twanky in Aladdin at the Warwick Theatre, replacing uh, Chris, Chris Biggins while he's on Celebrity MasterChef. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, hi, Derek. Yeah, yeah, this is Blake. We've got the right number. Back together? Is, is, is Chris coming back? Well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll see. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll pop down. Yeah, yeah, okay. See you soon. Bye. Blast from the past. <laughs> Chris and I were really close. I look forward to seeing him. Oh, well, it's been great. I've travelled the world. Uh, I've travelled the world on my own ticket as well, which is important. I've got seven top ten singles in Japan, which is more than we ever had here. I've got uh, a top 100 single in the UK as well. So there you go. I was nominated for a mobile, and these are the sorts of things that I promised to them. And you're not going to answer your phone? No, I'm not going to answer my phone. I told you about <laughs> Get out. Yeah. Who? Hello? Hold on. It's your manager. Your old band. What band? The Bum Street Boys. I want to get back together. <laughs> no. No, hold on. What about Cuba? Yeah. All right, you're on. Good afternoon, who let the dogs in? Anthony Belay speaking. Derek. Hello. Yeah, long time. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, no. Absolutely. It's yeah. Everything's going brilliant. I mean, everything is selling really well. And oh, you're not giving me a minute to get a word in. What do you mean? The band. Oh. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. Can I bring some shampoo? Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I'm going to take that as a yes anyway. All right, then. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> Be in touch. Right, thanks. Right, bye, bye, thanks. Perfect. After 11 years apart, the band have arranged to meet up and decide their fate. 
but will Chris join his ex-bandmates? I want to put this on the table. We're one of the best-selling bands of the 90s. Boy bands. Yeah. I know you're now all men, grown up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again. I've booked the venue. I'm going to sell the tickets. Let's do it. What do you reckon? Are you all in? I'm in, definitely. Um, where's Chris? Oh. We, we all picked up your phone. I, I sent in messages, emails. I think that we can definitely do it without Chris. I'm not doing this without Chris. Who are you to come in here and say that you're not going to do it without Chris? You've got no right, you she he. <laughs> you f off, man, today. No. Oh, what do you think? Coming in here with your scraggy hair, get some of this yes, and see if that it. works. Stop it. Right, we're all back here for the same reason. The reason that we entered this room, the reason we walked into this room, is so that we can form, reform the band. No, I came to sell shampoo. And make money, so we need to get on with each other. Come on, let's get the backdoor boys back. We need this. I want it. So the only reason he's here is because he wanted to see you guys. We're bigger in Japan than you ever were here. And he's not going to be pushed around like last time. And do not think this means we're back for good. Who are you? I'm Chardonnay. We've got this. It's in front of us. We've just got to reach out and take it. Okay guys, let's do this. Who's with me? Backdoor, 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 boys! Come on, boys, I'll show you the stage. After all members agreeing to do a comeback performance, the band start rehearsing for their new debut. together again?
could now celebrate. Tonight was the night that five became one. But will this happiness last? Are they on the road to success once more? Are the backdoor boys back for good? Take a tip, take a tip, take a tip for me. 